Game Ranks presents 10 of the best free iOS and Android games from June 2015. You got a lonely phone that needs some games, so let's get started with number 10. Nub's Adventure is an open-world, open-ended platforming game with elements of Metroidvania. It's got a really cutesy indie vibe to it, and you can tell by the art style. There's treasures and doors to unlock and bosses to fight, and you can use Nub's trusty little boomerang. It's a very cool game, and it's completely free to play, but you can get an entire full version of the game via an in-app purchase. At number 9 we have Try Harder, one of the more difficult endless runners we've seen in a while. Try Harder is an insanely difficult endless runner and you will die a lot. It's almost like the Dark Souls of endless runners. But the thing with this is that every time you die it's completely permanent and you spawn as a new character. And your last character's dead body is still on the map. That body will serve as an obstacle that you need to get over or it might even help you out in the process getting over some spikes. It's very interesting and a very experimental game and definitely worth checking out. At number 8 we have Beastbound, a weird and quirky take on a free-to-play RPG. It's isometric, you run around, you meet cute characters, you collect things, you fight bosses, and you sell stuff in shops. Unfortunately this game does have unskippable video ads. It's very much a grindy, been there, done that type RPG, but it's got a good sense of humor and some nice color that really saves it. At number 7 we have Cooking Dash 2015, yet another cooking game that's incredibly addicting. This time around you're a chef to the stars and you gotta run around your kitchen and get your food done in time, and as you work harder and upgrade your kitchen you get more and more famous from TV to movies. There's a lot of game here and it's very fun for a quick pick up and play. At number 6 we have Alphabetty Saga. This is the creators of Candy Crush's own take on Words with Friends. It's a social mobile word game. There's a hundred different challenging levels and you can play with friends. It's bright and colorful and cheery and it just might cheer you up as you spell stuff. And maybe if you don't even know how to read you can learn a thing or two. At number 5 we have PES Club Manager. This is Konami's new take on a soccer slash football sim management. This game is pretty legit because it has licensed football teams and over 5,000 real players. You get to pick different players, train them, build your training camp, and even watch and manage your matches in 3D. If you're really into football, this is probably your thing. Of course there is that free to play currency type of thing where you can buy coins in the game with real money to speed things up. But like I said, there's a lot of game here and a lot of detail and a lot of statistics, especially if you're just a big fan of this sport. At number 4 we have Radical Repelling. This is from Half Brick Studios, the makers of Fruit Ninja and Jetpack Joyride. So it's actually pretty freaking awesome. You get to shoot down mountains on a high speed rope while dodging objects, collecting coins, and doing all kinds of cool tricks. I'm gonna quote their website, they call it really, really rad. And it is, I've been playing this one for a while and it's a lot of fun. It does have optional in-app purchases that you can pretty much totally ignore, thankfully. At number 3 we have Terminator Genesis Revolution. This is a free to play game based off of the new movie, kinda, of, sorta, of, not really. You get to play as a generic, dumb looking John Connor and you get to run around and shoot Terminator robots. And it's whatever, you know, you can pay real money for different gun upgrades and stuff like that. But it's really just if you want to get excited about the new Terminator movie and you need something to play and shoot some robots, eh, Terminator Genesis Revolution, maybe it'll keep you busy for a little while. At number 2 we have SBK15. This is the official mobile app game of the FIM Superbike World Championship. You get to drive all different kinds of licensed bikes around 13 different rounds, 24 different riders, and 3 game modes, including a time attack mode. This game also really looks gorgeous for a phone game, and the sense of speed is pretty impressive, so if you're into racing, this is a very good racing game that's free right now that you should definitely check out. And at number one we have Fallout Shelter. Fallout Shelter right now is only for iOS but it's coming out on Android soon. And surprise, it's pretty damn good. If you like Tiny Tower and those types of games, Fallout Shelter is right up your alley because it takes that and stretches it a little bit further. Besides just building a Fallout Shelter in different rooms, you actually can go out into the wasteland and explore and find loot and equipment. It's very cool and it'll keep you passively busy for quite a while. It's fun, it's quirky, the art style is gorgeous, and it's really there to just get you excited for Fallout 4, and it totally works. I'm really excited for Fallout 4 after playing this. So guys, those were 10 of the best free iOS and Android games from June 2015. Get on those right now. We made this list for you guys just to help you out. So let us know what you are playing on your phone right now. And of course, if you did like this video and maybe found a game or two, click the like button because it does help us out. And of course, subscribing is even better. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.